Hello, hello, hello. Today is Friday, August 15, 2025. Here follow the solutions to problem 236. Let me first read the problem again. The speed of a small boat with respect to the water is 7 meters per second. The speed of the water relative to land is 3 meters per second. When the boat began traveling upstream, a float was dropped from the boat. The boat traveled 4.2 kilometers upstream, turned around and caught up with the float. How long did it take for the boat to reach the float again? So here are Keith Norman's solutions, but he cleverly copied solutions from two of the viewers. Here he copies the one from Frozen with a difficult last name. And here he copies the solutions from Ulf Heller. There are two ways to solve this problem. Two obvious ways. One, that you use the length as your reference frame and one where you lose the river as your reference frame. Let us start by taking the length at a reference frame. And so you have to look here. But I also wrote down here basically what is print is there. So I will read what I wrote here. In the reference frame of land, the boat travels 4.2 kilometers with a speed of 4 meters per second, and that takes 1050 seconds. At that time, the float has moved 3,150 meters. You can see that here. See, the boat moves 4.2 kilometers, but because the water runs 3 meters per second in this direction, the float has moved 3.15 kilometers. At the moment that the boat goes back to the float, it is 4,200 plus 3,150 meters from the float. Its speed relative to land is 10 meters per second, of course, the 7 plus the 3 meters per second, but its speed relative to the float is 7 meters per second. Thus, the return trip takes 1050 seconds. So the boat, the boat trip takes therefore 2 times 1050 seconds, which is 35 minutes. Okay. Let's now look at the case where we use the river. Fursen says he easier to solve the problem in the river frame because the float is at rest in this frame. So we use the river frame of reference. The boat drops a float here. 
follow me now, which is something that was not written here, but that is an easy way to see it. Let us assume that there is here, 4200 meters away, someone who drops a float in the river. So now we have two floats. Both floats stand still in the reference frame of the river. And those floats are 4200 meters apart. The water flows with a speed of 4 meters per second in that reference frame. So clearly, the time that it takes is twice, twice 4,200 meters divided by 4. And that is 30 min 35 minutes. All right, so if you want to look a little longer at these pictures, I will leave it up for you. And Heller's solutions, both of course, both views, both covered the frame of reference of land and the frame of reference of the river. And of course most uh, beautiful and clever and nice is the frame of reference of the river because the floats then stand still. There are roughly um, maybe 20, 25 viewers who have the correct answers. Not the 356 that I was hoping for, but it's still a large number. And that's good. So this problem was certainly within the abilities of most of my viewers. All right, the weekend is ahead of you. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy your weekend. And as always, we will be friends. That is a given. <laughs>